Okay, everybody, let's get into the note flight assignments for the week. So I'm already on 5.1 here. You can see I'm going to go to the folded paper icon. I think I am. There we are. And it always shows up at the bottom. So scroll up. I like to drop my cursor there and then take a read. The second and third. I didn't even. Did I go? The second and third chords of each exercise form a cadence. Analyze each of the three chords using Roman numerals. Tells you how to do that. Don't forget there are first and second inversions in here. Write the name of the cadence type using T above each exercise. You may move the text around. This is important. You may move the text around. So let's see what that does. What am I looking at? It looks like I'm in the key of G. It tells me I'm in the key of G major, right? So I'm looking at... I'm not going to tell you what I'm looking at there, but I'm going to type T. There's my text box. And then let's just say I, for some reason, I put down this was a B flat. I'm doing Roman numeral analysis. I'm going to say that this was a 10 chord. It doesn't exist, right? This was a 10 chord. Now look, here's some, this is what I sometimes see with you guys. Hiding behind that paper is my answer. So if I click my answer, I can move it. Oh, it is readily readable to anyone now. That's not so bad, right? So you're going to type in the Roman numerals. So you have, on your own, you will figure out what the chord is. Then do the Roman numeral analysis. I'm going to get rid of that. And then you're going to type in the cadence as well. So you really have to do your reading. You have to know what the types of cadences are. And then you've got all of those, and that's all you have. Those are the only ones on there. I'm going to back up. Yes, I want to leave. I didn't make any saves on that. 5.4, look at this, week 7 and 8, so you're going to be coming back to this next week. Isn't that great? No, I mean, really, that means you will add on to what you've done. You won't have to do a whole new set to it. All right, now I pointed out in the written news that there's more to it. Look at that. There's four and five on page two, so make sure you observe that. All right, on this one, we're in luck. Things are written out for us. We're just going to do the Roman numeral analysis and the chords here. Whoop, got to go all the way up to the top. Here are more Bach chorales. Remember, these are straight out of Benward, so you could actually see them in the book before you go and do this. If you wanted to, you could, you could do it on paper if that makes you happy and then go in and copy what you did on paper into here because they're supposed to be straight out of that. Write in the Roman numeral for each chord. Include the inversions. It tells you how. Circle or color. There's no color. Um, I mean, there's no circle. Do not label any non-harmonic tones. Okay, so let's get into that. When I look at my menu up here, I don't see it right now, but if I go over to this menu, which gives me all of this stuff, and then I scroll down, I have the word color there, and when I click color, I get a new menu up here. So if I thought that this first note was um, a non-harmonic tone, I'm going to choose a color. You choose whatever color you like, except black. Everything is already black. I would make that, oh look, non-harmonic tone. However, it's part of the chord, so that might be a weird answer, right? It might be a weird thing to say, but that's what, how you're going to color your chords. So this tool over here, go down to color. You can either click on it right from there, or it should bring up a new color menu for you in the upper part of your window. So that's a good thing. Where well, we weren't done reading, though, were we? So we got as far as color. Uh, it tells you that the first chord is already analyzed for you. I just pointed. Did you see me point? No, because this is something else. There's your analysis, your analysis on each one. Finish the rest of them. Uh, let's take a look here. If you think that these are quarter notes, those are eighth notes, if you think they're all part of a new chord, 
then you're going to write that. If you think they are both non-harmonic tones, then you're going to color them. Make sense to you, I hope? Indicate the type of cadence used at the end. Use T to enter the cadence names. What did we use to enter? We used K to enter Roman numerals. I didn't do that, did I? No. On the other one. K. Oh, it goes down below. Um, there you go, along with A minor. That's how we do Roman numeral analysis. So good. Does that help you do all of that? I surely hope so. Um, as usual, if you have questions, send them my way. And uh, I'll answer as best I can. If you ask questions in the Ask a Question forum, then everybody can see, and maybe that'll help. If you ask in the private topic, then I'll give you an answer directly, and that'll be for you and you alone. I want to leave, and we're all set with that. Good luck. Thanks.